everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder Time for another play along video. If you want to skip straight ahead to the playing, down below in the description are links where you can just click on the time and then you don't have to listen to me talking again. A few weeks ago I published a play along of one of the Telemann Canonic Sonatas and you all really seemed to like it and quite a lot of you asked can I also do a play along for the soprano recorder. So I looked through all of my repertoire and today we are going to tackle a piece by the English Renaissance composer Thomas Morley. Now Thomas Morley was pretty well known in his day. He published a lot of music and especially a lot of madrigals which were secular Renaissance songs. In 1595 he brought out a book of nine fantasias for two instruments. I think they were originally published for vials but I think they can be played on any two instruments. I actually perform them a lot in my duo with recorder and pan flute and they sound really great. So today I've chosen the ninth Fantasia called La Torello. Um, I think it's really beautiful. I've played it a lot and uh, yeah, now you can play it with me. <laughs> the music can be downloaded for free at imslp.org. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. You actually download all nine Fantasias at the same time and this one is the last one in the collection. In this video I'm going to play both the first and the second voice so you can choose which one you, pl you play. So before I start playing let's have a look at the few of the interesting things about this piece. The first is that it's very chromatic. A lot of this English Renaissance music had a lot of strange harmonies and clashing notes. For example, the opening you have and and that's really like whoa. It's a good idea to look through the music and find all of the moments where the two voices really clash with one another. For example, in bar 26, um, the two voices play an F and an E together and then an E and a D. So it's like clash, clash, blah, blah. When you get to these moments, it's really nice to enjoy them. And if you can, pull it out a little bit, like hold that clashing note for just a little bit longer because that's really nice. And there are also surprising harmonies. In bar 23 and 29, the whole phrase suddenly ends on this beautiful major chord. And it can be nice to hold that for a second, like. The next thing is the imitation in the voices. A lot of this piece has a lot of imitation with some sections are even actually a canon. Now this can be quite tricky. There are sections where the two voices are just a quarter note or a crotchet apart. For example, the first voice has da 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 and the second voice has da 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 Whew. and then they fit together like da 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 so also be careful to look through your music and check are you on the beat or are you off the beat? Especially as this music here isn't in 4-4 but in 4-2. That means there are four quarter no, there are four half notes or minims in a bar. So all these sections where the voices are copying each other, do look for the beginning and the end of the section. You might be in canon with each other for a while, but at some point you will come back together. This music is so much fun. The last step is if you've got all of these notes down, you're playing along with me, you're enjoying it, you could take it a step further by adding your own diminutions. Now I've done a whole video on this so go and check that out if you want to, but it basically means embellishing the line you're playing by adding extra notes. For example, at the end I like to play instead of One little uh, tricky thing. At the end of the piece, I'm not going to just finish it exactly in time, like, but I'm going to give a little pause before the final note. And I'm going to show this, like, So by watching me, you should be able to get it. Let's see if we can do that. And the great thing about this music is that you can interpret it how you want it. You can play it slowly and all flowing and beautiful and mournful. You could play it faster, kind of spiky with lots of energy. 
there aren't tempo indications. For that reason, I'm actually going to play each voice at two different speeds. So we're gonna get first voice slower, first voice faster, second voice slower, second voice faster. And no one of these speeds is right or wrong. It's not that you're aiming for the faster speed, it's to give you some choice. So yeah, I hope you enjoy playing along with me.
Thomason. I really hope you have a lot of fun playing along with this Thomas Morley Fantasia. Quite a few of you sent me videos of yourselves playing or performing the Telemann Canonic Sonata and oh, I loved watching it so much. If you'd like to film yourself playing this and send it to me, you can use the hashtag Team Recorder. I'm realising it's probably quite a lot to invent a new hashtag every time we play a different composer. And if you have requests for play alongs, please let me know. Do you like them on soprano? Would you prefer tenor? Do you want alto? Bass? If it's something where the music can be downloaded copyright free, then I'm happy to do it. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my little face down here. And up here, I'm going to leave a link to my video on Renaissance diminution. Have a great day, team recorder.